Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to the Legendary Run. And uh, recap from the last one. We managed to farm the vending machines and get ourselves a new addition. A lobbed pandemic grenade. So that will come in quite handy really. Bit annoyed that we didn't really get a weapon out of the vendors. So I could have done something to replace the flacker or just to help me up with the flacker. And of course we've still got this real annoying cradle. But uh, that is where we are at right now. And uh, we farmed our belly once in the last one, but we had to obviously come here and um, get Jack. Um, so we're going to carry on with the storyline a little bit. And uh, yeah, progress in the story, unlock a few more things. And uh, I'm just going to check the vendors while I'm talking. And yeah, then I think at the end of the episode, we are going to go back to Red Belly, and he will be our legendary drop for this episode. So. Uh, Hopefully we can get ourselves a striker, not too bad, but let's uh, just check this because you never know when we're going to have a legendary in there. Still got quite a lot of money as well, did a lot of farming and I've got 22,000 which uh, should be enough for a legendary weapon I would have thought if there is one in the vendors. Definitely enough for a shield or a grenade mod there, pretty cheap compared to the weapons but I think the weapons are going to cost quite a lot. But we've got to go ahead and find Custom Trap here. He should be here. There we go. And uh, this is a bit of an annoying waiting around mission. But uh, I think we're going to go and confront the Merif. I should have really uh, done this and then gone farm the uh, vending machines. But who cares? In fact, while he's talking, let's see how many. I've got 56 Moonstones now, so that's pretty good. Um, going to buy another shotgun upgrade and a backpack upgrade as well. A couple of them. Yeah, definitely a couple of them. Um, maybe a grenade and a pistol and another grenade. Yeah, that leaves us good. Right. We'll have to get some more. We'll get plenty of moonstones from Red Belly anyway, if he doesn't drop it quickly, which he should do. just seen a side mission has appeared as well so we'll go ahead and pick that one up on our travels which one is it where are thou uh, a bit of a multi uh, bit of a multi talking going on right now but uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the merry just want to pick this side mission up while we're here don't think we'll do it yet but Come on. Can I change it back? Not yet. Let him finish talking. Thank you, sir. Come on, Jack. Wrong way, dude. change it back now gonna have to bear with me guys as well if you uh, can hear constant squelching in the background I am drinking water like nobody's business at the minute I've got a real sore throat I'm not feeling too great luckily it's not affecting my voice too much but it does hurt like hell so uh, I'm gulping down water at nobody's uh, at a stupid rate whoa hello guys Forgot about that. Do you know what? It's just... I don't know where I am. Get down. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that, that, see, that was a sweet shot. More guys coming out now. Temporarily. Badass scab. You're going to go down soon. This blooming cradle's nearly about to put me down. Oh, thanks for the moonstones. Thanks for that. I can sell that. Anything else over here? No. Okay, let's go. Officer, 
Officer, get that door open! I don't take orders from civilians. However, as I was already going to do that... We can talk this day up, Jackie. What that really works... Get some ammo as well while I'm waiting. Too much of a waiting game sometimes, it annoys me. Sir, I'm walking on your desk just because I can. Jackie, <laughs> I you should have said you were dead. Dead time. I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. Right. Guess what? Is there anything in here we can pick up? No. No. She might be doing. Where did she come from? And please, lie to me. Really want to lie to me. But I know. The hell is that sticking out of it? Nothing. Strange man. Get up then. Get the hell out of here. I've been thinking there's a way back to Helios. No. See, I took that shot for him then. Oh dear. Noob. Alright, calm down. <laughs> That'll open eventually. Right. Let's have a quick water stop while I'm here. Alright, my awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is gonna need an army, so we make one. Head down to Springs, I'll explain on the way. I'm gonna stay here and go through that. Okay. Good, because I'm sick of waiting around. Shopping list simple. Some serious combat chassis and top of the line military AI to run them. Word is, Springs is a lady for the AI. Hey, Mox, you know where I can build me some kick ass robot bodies? Since yeah, sorry for the interruption there. Let's go. Come on. We need a new weapon here now. We're determined. Oh dear. Already checked that. For some reason, yet to become clear, that laser persists in firing at the surface of Elphus. How? Thank you. How are you going? I finally got. Moxie said you're after some military AI. Okay, we've got loads of things now. Oh, we've got grinders as well. Good. So, uh, grinders will obviously get us the oxidizer, I believe. Is it the oxidizer? I think it's the oxidizer class mod. That's in um, Triumph. No, Stanton's liver. So uh, that'll be our next legendary after this one. Bunch of ice holes. There you go as well. That's also uh, one to get. That'll get us the zim. Oh, we're le legendaries out of our ears now. But I'm going to do one little side mission that isn't like this. And then I'll do that one. Where art thou? And then um, we'll go farm Red Belly and try and make this as short as possible episode. So uh, I want to go to Triumph Flats. Oh, loads and loads of missions. I'll try and uh, I don't want to do more than one drop, uh, legendary per episode either. And I want to kind of try and span it out so we do a legendary drop one episode and then an actual weapons drop the next episode. So uh, we're going to have to just ca keep carrying on with the story mission and then coming back I think and picking up a weapon here and there when we can. But uh, for now, we're going to go and do... Where art thou? Yeah. Right, find Deirdre's Echo. Ah, oh, yeah, she's over in that corner hiding out, isn't she? I believe Deirdre's Echo is just here. Yes, there it is. Oh, that looks like her car. Please search it with all the alacrity you... Myron, my love. There we go. I'm trapped in the wreckage of our car and surrounded by evil bandits. <clears throat> if you get this message, Couple of side missions to pick up as well. Oh, that's the one where you race that dude. That is annoying. I can't be bothered with that. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Driving fails. No, I'm all the way back here. Great. But we can check the vendors while we're here. Got to do that last time. Nothing. 
Oh, I can't believe what a fail that was. What an absolute fail. And I'm going to do it. Oh, I was just about to say. One day I'm going to go into that lava fall. Right, let's go get Deirdre. Driving is poor. Let's oh, let's try. It's because there's a little ramp just there. Definitely gets you. Okay, hello. Anybody here? Yes, you. Oh, you're up there. Okay. Let's get these guys first because they're annoying, and they're going to jump down anyway. Oh, now is that my shield actually helping me out for once? Right, let's go get these dudes. Nah, okay, I'm starting to like this gun a little bit more. Uh, where are these guys? Are you in here? Get down, thank you. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that was a bit stupid sh shooting a spread weapon inside of a door. Right, I believe. There's more guys down here. Missed that one totally. Got it on that time. You're going to regret coming out of that door so quickly. Okay. Come on. Is that a badass? Yes. Careful with him. No, he's down. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, let's go get Deirdre then. Couple of O2 kits in here. Starting to know this game a bit too well now. There we go. And here should be Deirdre. There we go. I'm gonna pour myself another drink. She's got the biggest jug of water next to me. Absolutely huge, but nothing's going to stop me from doing this legendary one now. I am so happy to be doing it. I'm pretty hyped. A lot of research had to go into this one as well to uh, work out where everything is, what missions give you, what boss, all sorts of things like that. But I think we're about on it now. So we should be good for the whole run. And then if we can get the normal playthrough done successfully, it'll just be a case of, uh, you know, perfecting it in true Vault Hunter mode. And uh, then on to Ultimate, which will be interesting, I think. That's honestly, if you guys like it. If you don't, then uh, I'll, I'll finish it after normal mode. But uh, I'm pretty sure most of you love this run. And uh, it's just a let's play with a difference, really, which makes it, um, you know... A lot more worthwhile to do. It's not just the same old boring thing. And I've just realised I've been stood around talking. And the mission waypoint has changed. So let's go find her sister and then we can get on with red belly farming. I can't remember where her sister is actually. Well that worked out better than I thought. Okay. Well I'm guessing if it's over there it'll be somewhere over the bridge. Which is much safer than trying to jump the lava. Yeah, she's, oh, she's going to be... Uh, I hope she's in Triumph Flats. I don't want to go to a new area. <laughs> Just straight, crash straight into him. Get down. She's making a run for it. Get her! Sure. I bugged your new base, but I trusted uh, you, dear. Uh. You're so getting murderized when you lose Maureen, it. get your arse back here. Alas, tis my dear. And there she is. Dead and departed. Well then, I shall join you, my love. Fear not, we shall enter the vast dark portal together. My wings beast towards you in the abyss. Whoa, talk about two psycho birds with one stone. We just cleaned up the universe a bit, Vault Hunter. <laughs> Come on back for your reward. 
Nice. Right, we'll go pick up that reward and then it's to Crisis Scar. Do a few runs of Red Belly and then uh, if you don't drop it, it'll be the lonely old world of farming by myself. Ah, uh, I don't want to. Ha ha, nice try, sir. Nice try. I nearly did it again. Okay. Rightio, rightio. Let's hand this in. And then, uh. Thanks for Crisis being my Scar, we shall go. Thank you, love. No worries. Right. Just give me one second. I'm just going to have a. M and I'm back. It was like I had never gone away. So, I think it's a good time now to call everything else off. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely 15, 20 minutes into the episode. It's time to go and farm Red Belly. We'll do a couple of runs of him. And uh, I don't want to go that way. Do a couple of runs of him get the technique going of how to kill him with the flacker which is going to be tough and then if he doesn't drop it we'll do some off camera farming so we'll come in from this way it's much quicker we'll use the speed farm I'm not going to bother picking up any chests or anything like that yet off camera obviously I will because I'll have more time but I'm just going to go straight in there kill him use the shortcut And hopefully, it won't take too long. So, shortcut time. It's a brilliant little shortcut. If you haven't seen it, it's on my uh, How to Speed Farm Red Belly video. Pretty, you know, good little tip. It just saves a bit of time waiting for that door there to uh, open. I never seem to hit that lamppost anymore, though. And that's normally, uh, I hit that most of the time pretty well. But there you go, look at that. Straight away, we're just into Red Belly's arena, and he should spawn now. Let's check the vendors. I'm going to sell all of my stuff because it's not legendary. And anything in here? No. Nope. Right, sir, you are going down. He's not a badass. Come on, not one of them in then. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be difficult this with the flacker. Let's turn the tables on him a little bit. There we go, now they're going down. There we go. Dropped a shotgun, but it's not the one we wanted. But we're going to pick them up anyway. Oh, there's a uh, customization pistol. Not a bad haul. And of course, oh, plenty of weapons here. So we can sell all of them. Head. These annoying guys are going to come now. But we leveled up, which means we're stronger. Which means it's going to be easier to face him. And uh, I said I'm not going to pick up all the chests. But I will pick up this one. Because it's so close. Hmm. We'll go ahead and equip this skill point. Oh, I've got a couple of badass tokens. Badass ranks building up nicely now. 5-5. Five, five. Probably not the best in the world, but it's uh, getting there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it on to that one. What's next? When you enter fight for your life. Oh, that'll help. Definitely. <laughs> Especially with the cradle. Can I have that now, please? Okay. So, that's one run. Two in total. We'll uh, do two more, and then, if you don't drop it, it's back to being on my own doing it. And because uh, this isn't an unfarmable, it's, uh, we get to keep whatever we pick up, which means we can sell all the weapons, get a load of money, pick up moonstones, build them up. So, uh, in fact, the longer it takes to drop the... Um, to drop the striker it doesn't really bother me because we'll be getting a bit of XP every time more weapons more money more moonstones all of that of good stuff so and we get to farm the vendors as well free vendors every time so you never know when there's going to be a legendary in there 
but on this occasion there isn't, so let's sell all that, sell that, I want to keep that and equip it now. It's looking good guys, looking good, should get some money, more money means more legendaries. Hmm. Right, let's see if we can... Wow, he's pretty precise with that. Right, we'll slam him first, then we'll shoot the flacker. Absolutely miss everything. There we go, that's a more direct shot, so I've just got to get some good direct shots on him. He'll jump over there now. I've gone down. Um, help. Where's this guy? Oh, he's there. Come on, quick. Oh, that was lucky. Right, we'll have to be more careful and keep an eye on our health next time. Will you just go over there? Jesus. Right, yeah, fault under EXE time. But we'll chuck a grenade at him. Ah uh ha. -huh. Yeah, that'll help. That's bred down. Wow, we nearly leveled up again off that. Right, unfortunately, we are going to have to wait for the. Uh... Oh, we've stopped firing. These guys are going to get me down. Let's get that shield replenished. Okay, what have we got here then? Let's go around and check everything. Pick up all the weapons. Look at that, 20 moonstones already, and I've nearly leveled up again. I'm pretty sure the next one will give us nearly enough XP to level up once again. So, it's all going pretty well here. Let's have a look at anything in the middle. I don't think so, because they didn't die in the middle. But, put a bit of money up here. We'll go open this chest as well, and then just to make sure, come back and check everything else. Hmm. Where did they die? Red died there. So belly died there and red did as well. I think that's it. I can't see any uh, any more weapons anywhere. I've probably overlooked this one too much though. But that's it anyway. That's run number two today. Three in total. So I'm just going to put that on my little chart quickly before. Because I like to keep up to date so we're farming for the striker and that is our third run there we go okay so fourth and final run of this farming session and then back to my own and then the next time you'll see me after this if he doesn't drop it this time we will finally have ourselves a uh, decentish weapon so to speak, don't get me wrong, the flak is pretty good when it hits, but I just can't seem to get it to hit brilliantly. I've probably got to be a bit more precise, a bit closer to enemies. I kind of just like the long range kind of style of shooting. But, uh, um, well, I say actually, the next time you see me will be for a striker. It might be a legendary in the vendors, you never know. likely right let's get on now and get this gear okay slam you slam you again flacker ah, you can try charging me all you want son I am better than you there we go that was a good shot just keep knocking him back and flackering him he's gonna go into the middle now We'll get a couple of grenades on him for when they split. Oh yes, it's going down now. He's down and I don't see any orange. Let's just get this guy down as well. Actually, they're going to go down pretty close to each other. Oh, I missed every one of them. Oh, he can just fly around for a bit. Another skin there. Little weapon. Nothing amazing. Do you mind? You are really hurting my health. Where's Red? There he is. There he is. And I leveled up. Nice. 
Wow, we're going to level up quite a lot. Obviously, it's going to be less XP every time we level up. But, we're on level 12 now, which is good. I'm sure he dropped some weapons somewhere. There's a bit of moonstone there. But, nothing else really around. So, unfortunately, no, uh, ah, there we go. Unfortunately, no flacker. Be nice to get one actually dropped quite early, but can't complain. A couple of levels, loads of weapons, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna go do some off camera farming now after I've equipped this skill point. But progress is going well, and next time you see me, will be either a striker drop or a legendary out of the vendors and a striker drop so uh, either way we're getting a legendary today if not two it'd be nice to get a double legendary drop in but uh, yeah so I'm gonna go off and do some camera farming now and I'll see you guys in a sec welcome back everybody to the farm for the striker on the legendary run for Red Belly in Red Belly's arena here we are and uh, we'll go in with a nice slam and try and take him out so uh, this is actually the 26th run that I've actually done and uh, obviously because I'm here now means that he actually dropped it well that was a nice striker uh, hit so uh, let's go ahead and drop a load of pandemics down and uh, get some corrosive damage on him this works really well I've got this method pretty well done but like I said this is the 26th run and there's belly gone down and uh, he actually dropped the striker there although I couldn't see it so I'm just having a quick look around for it now but uh, it is here and there you go I've just seen it so let's take out these little scabs Red went down pretty quick with the corrosive damage and I'm uh, just going to uh, take these guys out because I'm going to go down any second and uh, yeah so here we go there is the striker level 7 I'm really happy now because um, although it's quite under leveled for us it is a different weapon um, although it's a shotgun it's better than the flacker for me I don't like all this uh, spread and stuff off the flacker I like a nice precise shotgun so uh, here it is anyway so we're going to be absolutely wrecking with that but like I said, that took 26 runs, so that's really wasn't a bad farm. And um, within them 26 runs, I've got a shed load of moonstones. I've got loads of weapons, as you can see, picking all them up every time. Farm them chests over in the uh, other room. Not the moonstone chests, the actual uh, normal chests. And uh, on the way, I've got a few chests as well. Picked up plenty of weapons, sold all them in the vendors. So as you can see, I've got 270 moonstones now, just from farming Red Belly, as well as uh, a load of money. So that'll be good for the next uh, legendary run episode we'll be doing a chest farm and seeing if we can get anything good from it but uh, as you can see just picking up a few more weapons now but that's going to be it anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that is part five of the legendary run so we've now got ourselves a legendary cradle shield a pandemic grenade mod and uh, also the flacker and now we've got the uh, legendary striker as well so we're uh, pretty happy with that so next we're going to be going again um like i said next episode we'll be doing a uh, vendor farm for our next legendary hopefully we can get ourselves another weapon something different from a shotgun but other than that it will be uh, probably maybe the zim pistol next or um, yeah from the ice sugar if giant ice sugar if so uh, that should be pretty good anyway we'll give that a try see what that looks like because I haven't really used the zim much but for now that's part five be sure to check out the uh, link in the description for the playlist for the rest of the legendary runs if you've missed any you can watch it all Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I've really enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next legendary run. Meet